Are you looking for a cool island to visit in Greece? Maybe one that has these blue waters just like in the Caribbean but no one is talking about it yet? Then look no further because I will tell you everything that you need to know about this the Aporos Island which can only be described as Greek's best kept secret. Hello, hello, curious gang, it's your London friend Vasi. Well, at the moment, I'm more of your hokey-dicky friend Vasi because I'll be here the whole summer and to many hokey-dicky, it is a hidden gem. However, of course, we're taking this one step further and we're going to this hidden island which is inhabited. It is called the Aporos, but it is also known to have the best blue waters in the whole peninsula. And now that I'm here, I can already confirm that this is true. And let me go just one step back. Basically, we rented this small boat to go to the island because this is basically the only possible option. I mean, unless you decide to go kayaking. But of course, we went for the boat option and we were renting this with my parents and we woke up super early to get in there at like 7 a.m. And we rented this from this website uh, called Click and Boat and it costed 107 quid per day and we have it from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. and the only thing which is not included it is the fuel which at the moment I think it will be a little bit expensive but at the given same gas time prices. <laughs> yeah, exactly given the gas prices but at the same time I think it will be worth it hi hello hello so I say what is for five people and we're just four if you have an extra friend here, you can split the bill. Boat tour. Boat tour. We have the seat. Seat. We have a map. map. And I'm gonna show you the other side. Oh, show us the other side. It is what is too like small for me. Wow, well, it's fine. And it has the anchor over there. <laughs> these seats over here. But the most important thing, this blue water. Wow. This is the engine. And oh, apparently these are the stairs, but I think these are stairs. both my parents actually just jumped, jumped into the water. Yolo'd in, in the classic Vasici parent style. <laughs> they yolo'd it. My parents don't want to be filmed, but it's okay. It's a steering wheel. Uh, this is like forward neutral and uh, R. These are the rotation per minute. It's insane how like, fast it goes. You know, this is up to a thousand. And this is a small compartment for your like, you know, sunglasses and things like that. All very nice. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the best thing is that you don't actually need any sort of license to drive this boat. Hello, man. <laughs> And my dad was the main captain, but uh, Ben tried doing it as well. And after that, I had enough courage to try also. But I have to say, like, it is a little bit tricky, especially for me that I don't even have a driving license. But I think it went pretty well. What do you guys think? Would you try driving the boat as well? Okay, it's not that hard, actually. How much if I can do it, anyone can do it. And this is the Blue Lagoon, the main reason why visitors come into here. It has water so clear and so blue that you would think you were in the Caribbean. And it is also rumored to have the best waters in Haukidiki. And something quite interesting, which the guy that was renting us the boat said, is that every day uh, in August, like in the high season, there are around 500 visitors every single day. And if you go around midday in the Blue Lagoon in August, you will find around 100 boats parked in there. Hello guys, from the most secluded beach that I have ever been to. And I have to tell you, the less people they are, the more beautiful it is. And the only thing with which I can compare this island and especially the water in here, I think it was Mexico and the Caribbean because look at that, the sand is so white, it is so beautiful and the water, it is literally crystal clear and I think the best part of this it is that you barely see any people so it feels like a real adventure.
another famous spot it is Morsini Beach which I kind of liked because of the blue water again but at the same time I expected more from the beach itself because I found it quite full with seaweed and uh, a little bit too much plastic but the water it was still great I way prefer this uh, Kamarudis beach and this is what I'm suggesting you to visit as well but also if you see a nice small beach while you're going around with the boat you can just stop and uh, give it a go because you might be really pleasantly surprised just like we were and here we are this is how the island looks on the other side Looks the, more true native. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is a, a pine. It smells really fresh. But the problem is, my feet are actually burned. The, so oh, it's the, actually. Why is the speakers in London? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What did you do? I ate so many tomatoes in Greece that in the end I actually became one. One dip into the water here, one beach here, another beach there, and out of the sudden it turned out that we have spent nine hours on this island, which seems pretty crazy considering how small it is. So then we really rushed it through so we can give back the boat at 6 p.m. A little update from us. So first of all, I forgot to tell you that for the fuel itself, can you guess how much we paid for literally staying the whole day at the boat? It was only 25 euros. I actually expected to pay way, way more. And now we had a shower and we'll head off for dinner at our favorite place. We are going for dinner at our go-to place here in the city where we are based at the moment. It's called Parco and I love it because it's kind of like Greek tavern but a little bit more modern. Yeah, I don't think the dog loves it. Let's try in a bit. People working in there as well are lovely so that's why we're going in there as well tonight. Aren't my sandals really Greek? Look at them. Look at this basil plant. It's mint. Oh, is it? It's mint. Ben cannot speak though. And that's my go-to parco salad with halloumi. Then do you have something to say? I have a lot to say, <laughs> but I cannot talk. And we also got this pan-fried cheese with sour cherries. We also got this grilled bread with olives, which they throw at you as if it's tap water or something. I really have quite a lot of halloumi in London, but I have to say this one tastes totally different. Look at it. It's not as chewy as usual, but it also has a lot more flavor. Look at all this little calamari. And the squid portion was quite generous, I didn't really understand the broccoli and cabbage side, like I think it could have been more of a Greek salad, but for this price I have to say totally worth it and the taste is great. And that's actually a pretty typical main portion for Greece, so you usually have meat or fish as a main and then as a side some sort of veggie or a salad. Just so you don't think that we are way too healthy, we also got this fried cheese and uh, it's not like the fried cheese that you would usually get in London because here the, it felt like the, the cheese, it is the main part of it and uh, also it has quite a strong flavor. And we finished off with this free ice cream and it's also quite typical that in restaurants they would always bring you some sort of free dessert in the end before you actually pay the bill. And can you guess how much we paid for all this? I, I will give you a minute so you type in your comment down below. Yeah, we actually paid less than 40 euros. It was 39.50, but then we got also the free ice cream, so we paid 42, but I think it was absolutely worth it. I will see you guys in my next video, and don't forget to subscribe for most more videos from Greece. Love you all. Bye.